to introduce week one, let me first describe what is the agenda for this course. First, we're going to provide you with a very simple couple of frameworks to tackle most marketing challenges. Next, we're going to describe the marketing process and how it goes about creating, delivery, and communicating value. In part three, we're going to review the fundamentals and the basis for segmentation and how to target and position products. Next, we're going to review a couple of elements and useful tools for how to go about conducting research design in order to fulfill uh, that segmentation that we described in part three. We're going to talk also a little bit about how to design proper experiments. And finally, we're going to wrap up with how to target and position the products. That is the content for this first week of the course. Any company's main purpose is to identify and satisfy customer needs better than anybody else and to be able to do so at a, in a profitable way. Think of companies like eBay that have detected that people were not able to find some of the items they loved or were willing to purchase and they created an auction clearinghouse precisely to fulfill those needs. Or Inditex, a company from the northern part of Spain in Galicia that identified that what people truly wanted were fashionable clothing items at substantially uh, lower prices and they created Zara, the largest fashion retailer in the world that is one of the fastest companies at bringing uh, products to market from its design stage. Both of these companies have demonstrated, demonstrated clearly marketing savvy. The modern marketing concept emerged roughly around halfway through the 20th century, whereas companies shifted a philosophy from make and sell to one of understanding customer needs and serve, or fundamentally is a transformational shift from finding customers for your products to designing products for customer needs. Today, we can think of marketing fundamentally around the concept of value. Marketing is essentially about creating, communicating, delivering, capturing, and sustaining value for customers. One of the remarkable aspects about the marketing profession is the vastness and the complexity of the tasks that it has to encompass. Marketeers have to segment customers, design products, select packaging, choose channels, media, design communication strategies, maintain loyalty programs, etc., etc. As you can see, marketing is very complex, but that's what makes the profession at the same time exciting and, ex and exhilarating. In order to cope with such complexity, let me give you a very simple framework for how to tackle marketing challenges. Throughout this first week, we will be using a case that I have provided for you, the case of Santander Serfin in Mexico, which we will use as the basis for illustrating some of the points that we will be making throughout this first week.